good evening ma'am principal uh, good evening dear parents uh, teachers and my dear students uh, we'll just begin with the program geeta ma'am i would like you to begin it please okay ma'am Good evening, everyone. Respected principal, ma'am, coordinator, ma'am, parents, teachers, and my dear students. I extend my warm and heartiest gratitude to all of you. Today, I feel honored as the class teacher of 8C. Welcome you all for the virtual thematic presentation. The theme of today presentation is conservation of energy and water. Hope you will enjoy the presentation. But before that. I request you all kindly rise for DAV card. Aviral Nirmal Salil Sadai Gyan Pradai Nijot Mai O Chahun Dishi Udkosh Abhai DAV Jai Jai ये भी जय जय प्रबल प्रवाह मई नित नूतन जीवन दायिनी सदा सनातन वेद प्रणीता परम पुनीता ये धारा अक्षय ये भी जय जय ये भी जय जय दया नंद से प्रेम भक्ति ले हंस राज से त्याग शक्ति ले धर्म भक्ति का राष्ट्र शक्ति का हो दिन मान उदय दिए भी जय जय दिए भी जय जय सुख समृद्धि इसकी लहरे प्रेम शांति इसके तट ठहरे सघन शांति में प्रबल क्रांति में लिए अटल निश्चय दिए भी जय जय दिए भी जय जय assets comprising of all the essentials which are necessary for our survival but man never learns to be a good guest on earth he keeps on mistreating and exploiting the resources for his own stingy interests good morning respected principal ma'am honored teachers parents and my dear friends today we the students of class 8c are here to depict the crucial lesson of energy and water Brinda, there's no water in the taps. Did you drink up everything? What? I need to get freshed up. You think I am a giant? No. It's just that there's no supply of water today. But I've saved some water in the bucket. Use it judiciously because we don't have enough water that will last us the entire day. But what's the reason behind this no supply of water? Water supply has been disrupted because there's some complication with the water treatment plant in our area. Water treatment plant? What sort of a plant is this? I've never heard of it before. Is it the only source of water? No, you see, it's not a source of water. It's just a place where the impurities of water are eliminated. Then, from what all sources can we obtain water? There are ample sources of water present far and wide. Let me tell you about some of them. Underground water. It is found in the cracks and spaces in soil, sand, and rocks. It is stored in and moves slowly through the geological formation of sand, soil, and rocks, called aquifers. Groundwater is often cheaper, more convenient, and less vulnerable to pollution than surface water. Therefore, it is used for public water supplies. In big cities like Gurgaon, the rate of depletion of underground water is very high. due to reckless extraction of underground water for commercial purposes surface water 
it is an important key component in the hydrological cycle water which is present on the surface of earth including rivers lakes wetlands etc is known as surface water ocean water despite being salt water is considered as surface water as it is seen in water cycle okay i got it but despite of its plenty sources everyone still feels that we should use water judiciously what's the reason behind yes we do have a various sources of water but water present is not uniformly distributed and it is not portable water too what do you mean is water not available everywhere let us first observe the distribution of water then the question will be answered hey i saw you after a long time yeah me too so how are you nothing much just a normal school life but we are having this catch your what like always oh if i'm correct you live in rajasthan right yeah and you live in kerala so not less water for a minute i don't understand if 71% of earth surface is covered with water then why are we having this scarcity this is because water resources are unevenly distributed and even though from that 71% about 97% is present in oceans and seas which cannot be used as it is salty and even though from that 71% surface water it is nothing compared to the volume of earth without water it is just a droplet if we compare them by volume then what's about the other 3% this 3% is then further divided into 69% in the glacier 30% underground and less than 1% is present in lakes rivers and swamps wow but what's about the distribution of water resources in india 4% of the world's water resources are situated in india and even though 8% of indians do not even get clean water to drink this seems to be very less but it is a lot if we compare it to the big population of india i never thought that the distribution of water is so much complicated this is the surface of the earth this large drop represents the total water present on earth the small drop represent drinkable and usable water and if we see the surface water it is equal to a drop oh now i understand that we are really facing scarcity of water yes and since water is a precious resource therefore it needs to be conserved yeah i totally agree with you but So what are ways can we preserve water at personal level? Let us have a look at the innumerable ways through which we can conserve water. India is a developing country having more than 130 crore population. That's why it is very important for every individual to adopt way to conserve water in a daily life. Hello everyone. Today I will tell you some ways to save water at personal level. We should turn off the tap while we are brushing or shaving so that the water doesn't get wasted. We should water the plants from reused water like the water which is drawn by our air conditioners. We should wash the vegetables in a pan rather than washing them directly under the tap. We should check faucets and pipes for leaks. as even a small drip can waste up to 50 gallons of water every day wash your car with a bucket instead of washing it directly from the pipe oh i had never thought that saving water could be so easy and that too at our own level yes indeed and if everyone adopts these measures then we will be able to minimize the scarcity of water to great extent but Are there any ways by which water can be conserved on large scale? Yes, there are many other ways by which water can be preserved at large scale such as dams, rainwater harvesting and modern methods of irrigation. Let me explain these methods to you. Dams are the barriers which stop or restrict the flow of water on the ground streams. The reservoir is created by dams not only prevent floods but also provide water for various purposes such as irrigation aquaculture agriculture navigability industrial and human use etc dams can also be used for the collection or storage of water 
which can later on be evenly distributed between different locations. The primary purpose of a dam is to retain water while other structures such as floodgates and levees, which are also known as dikes, can be used to stop or manage the flow of water into specific land regions. Modern methods of irrigation are better than traditional methods in helping optimum utilization of water. Modern methods involves two systems, sprinkler system and drip irrigation. Sprinkler system is an easy and a simple method of irrigation nowadays. Water is provided to the fields by spraying water droplets similar to rain through pipes. Any loss of water is avoided in the sprinkler system. Drip irrigation. This method of irrigation is gaining popularity in the areas with scarcity of water. Narrow pipes with small holes are laid on the fields. When water flows through these pipes, it drips at the place of the roots of the plants. The roots absorb the water and supply it to the plants. Thank you. Rainwater harvesting is the collection and storage of rainwater. Rainwater is collected from roof-like surface and is redirected to tanks, reservoirs, aquifers or deep pits. With percolation, it seeps down and restores the groundwater. Thank you. Okay, now I have got to know many ways by which water can be conserved on domestic level as well as on large scale. But don't you think that others should also be aware of these measures? Yes, it is true that awareness is the solidarity key to any issue and I recently got an update that there is a street play being organized in our locality in order to spread importance of conservation of water. Oh, I would love to watch that street play. Let's go. Namaskar Vedansh. Namaskar Aarti. Vedansh, dharti par pani ke halat bahut kharaab hain. Dheere dheere star girta ja raha hai aur hum use bhi barbaad kar rahe hain. Satya vachan Aarti, agar aisa hi chalta raha to hum pani ke liye kal ladenge. Yah vayu ke baad jeevan ke astitva ke liye dusra sabse mahatvapurna tatva hai. Isliye hame logon ko pani ki mahatvata batate hue jagruk karna hoga. Anyatha hamari agli peedi ke liye pani bachega hi nahi. लोग पानी का उपयोग बिना सोचे समझे कर रहे हैं सत्य वचन वेदांश मैं तुम्हें गुरुग्राम की सोसाइटी में लेकर चलती हूँ वहाँ पानी की बर्बादी की कहानी बच्चों की जुबानी सुनो कार साफ करने वाला बाल्टी और मग्गी की जगह पाइप से समुद्र बहा देता है जब काम वाली बाइक बर्तन साफ करती है तब नल खुला छोड़ के टंकी साफ कर देती है क्यों खुला रखा है जब बर्तन धोना शुरू करोगे तब खोलना अरे कार साफ करने वाले भैया गाड़ी को बाल्टी और मग्गे से साफ करा करो आंटी आप एक दिन छोड़ के ग्राउंड में थोड़ा करो जल ही जीवन है जहाँ पानी होता है वहाँ जीवन होता है पूरे ब्रह्मांड में पृथ्वी पर ही जल है जल हमें ये प्रकृति के द्वारा दिया गया इसलिए हमें इसका सम्मान करना चाहिए मनुष्य जानवरों पेड़ पौधों सभी के जीवन में पानी का उपयोग होता है ये जल है ये जल है ये जल है जो चाहिए हर पल है जो आज भी चाहिए और कल भी चाहिए ये जीवन जीने का हल है जल बचाकर जिंदगी बचाऊंगा आने वाले कल को सजाऊंगा जल नहीं बचाएगा तो तू चल नहीं पाएगा तू तगमगा जाएगा संभल नहीं पाएगा तू क्या खाएगा क्या पिएगा मर ही जाएगा तू fed up with all this yesterday there was no water today there is no electricity i'm wondering what next havoc has to befall tomorrow calm down ishika i can totally understand this i need some luminous object or some source of light to complete my school project but in this much darkness i don't think it's even possible to see clearly isn't there any way by which we can produce electricity 
there are several ways by which electricity can be produced. You will understand it better with the help of their models. Let us have a look at them. Natural resources are the resources that occur naturally on Earth and are indispensable parts of our lives. It is used for making fuels and raw material for production of goods and therefore we should preserve it. So here are some ways to do so. Wind power or wind energy is the use of wind turbines to make electricity. In India, wind power produces 10,000 megawatt of energy which is 4% of total electricity production. India has 4th highest wind capacity installed with the total installed capacity of 39.25 gigawatt energy per annum. This is a wind wind. The blade of its fan works with the help of wind. This kinetic energy is then uh, converted into electrical energy with the help of generators. And you all can see the bulb glows. This electrical energy can give power to the whole house. A solar panel is a device which is used to absorb sun rays and convert them into electrical energy or heat. A solar panel consists of many photovoltaic cells. These cells generate electricity through the photovoltaic effect. These cells are arranged in a grid-like pattern on the surface of solar panels. This is the working model of a solar panel. This is the solar panel. This is the fan attached to a motor and this is the switch. As I turn the switch off, the fan stops and as I turn it on, it starts moving again. This is able to move because this solar panel is converting the light energy of the sun to electricity. So this is how a solar panel works. Water turbine is a rotatory machine which is used to convert mechanical energy into kinetic energy. It was developed in 19th century. There are four types of uh, water turbine which are uh, steam, gas, water and wind. Thank you. I'm glad that the electricity is back. Finally, I'll not face any issue in the completion of my project. But I would just like to know a few ways by which we can conserve energy at personal level. Let me reduce some ways by which we can take care of the limited resources that are available to us through a song. Earth's natural resources include air, water, minerals, plants, soil, and water. Conservation is the care and protection of these resources so that they can persist for the future generations. While conservation is related to preservation, both of these strive to accomplish this task in different ways. Conservation means the sustainable use of these resources and while preservation means the prohibition of human use. Now, Mehek Nikita Niharika will present a beautiful song before you. Thank you. Did you know it really starts with you? In this one day you find yourself 
I'm sure that all of us have learned a lot about conservation of energy and what it is. But this learning will be useful only and only when we implement this in our lives. Thank you everyone for your cooperation. Now I would request Ma'am Principal to kindly speak a few words. Good evening, my dear children, dear parents, and my colleague teachers. It was really a very, very interesting and informative presentation. Class 8 students, you have done a wonderful job. You know, my dear children, you are our brand ambassadors. You all have a very important responsibility on your shoulders to take it forward, especially issues like this, which are very important for our Mother Earth, for survival of our future generations. And water conservation is one of such issues. So a very good topic selected by your teachers and very well presented by all of you. <clears throat> children, sometimes, you know, as children grow, they reach senior classes. They feel what is the use of these presentations? But children, it is very important for you to learn how to express yourselves. This expression can be in various forms, like some children are good at drawing. They can express their thoughts through art. It could be oratory skills. It could be in acting like uh, in a street play or in a short skit or it could be singing also. So my compliments to all of you for this beautiful performance. A lot of hard work has been done by the teachers and parents at home also who have been guiding you throughout. And thank you to dear parents because your cooperation is very, very important. And DAV is a lucky school where we have such a cooperative parent group that always supports all the initiatives of the school. Because parents, as you agree with me, our common target is overall growth of our children in both academic and course scholastic areas. So I really thank you for your support and my special, special congratulations to my dear children once again. Thank you, children. Fabulous performance. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Your words of appreciation mean a lot to us. Uh, thank you for motivating us. And uh, uh, our children are blessed that they are getting this opportunity, I must say, your vision, that uh, you told us that let's have small, uh, small programs wherein we are trying to make that every child gets a chance to participate. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I'd like to thank the parents and the teachers. Um, your support was tremendous. The parents, you know, we kept on asking them that, the video needs to be made again and uh, willingly they all uh, cooperated and kept on sending their videos. So the result is really nice. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, parents, teachers and their children. Thank you. Thank you so much, Geeta ma'am. Uh, ma'am, can we end the meeting? Thank you so much. Thank you everyone once again.